So in 2018, I got to UPSA. I enrolled for Bachelor of Business Administration. My other alternative was to go to Legon and read economics. I mean, I convinced my dad and told him the reason why I wanted to come to UPSA for administration, which I thought oh, later I would do accounting, but I found out that it was management. <sighs> Who cares? Now, when I came here, I know I'm a smart child. I'm academically gifted, God to be grateful for. But then I came here knowing that I was going to focus on my books and learn so hard. Learn, learn so hard and be like the valedictorian, like that kind of concept, you know? That was me, that was me. Yeah. And I kind of started well. I mean, I, I got a chance and opportunity to sign the matricula. So um, I was like on high hopes, you know, high, high, high hopes, right? But then things changed. I got a good, some good friends around me. I mean, their mindset, the way they used to say, I started exposing myself more to books, to listening to uh, certain people who I will not be normally listening to. I had a roommate who was an IT guy and I'm an IT person too. So actually I would have read IT all things before, but yeah, I am. You know, I never really thought IT was a thing. I wasn't exposed that much. I started practicing my computer, doing writing code and designing <laughs> i don't call myself a creative person but fast forward things have changed this person is this person i am as a person i, I can speak i like to talk i've always been told to um, not talk or i talk too much all right or i've not always been told i'm um, rebellious when adults speak and i'm supposed to just keep, keep quiet i speak i mean i didn't do it and they're telling me i did i said no i don't do it i didn't do it right and when they expect me not to talk, I, I kind of talk. I don't know why I, I do that, but you never know why as well. I mean, God made me this way, right? So I found my voice in the university, not because I was doing well in class, not because I was so good at presentations, not because I'm able to really say things. I found my voice because I found a group of people who, who encouraged me to speak who gave me the platform to speak to them and who gave me the platform to be able to share my ideas. Then COVID struck. I was right designing websites back then and I was learning um, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I was going to use this COVID time to write a, do a lot of projects and I listened to Chris Do tell me that, look, market yourself. Bring what you know out there. I want to challenge you to teach whatever you are learning. That one advice. Now I'm saying it, it looks simple to you. I just listened to that advice and I created my YouTube channel. I've been using this phone, this is the iPhone 10 or X. I've been using it for a while now. I have passed over a year now. And I know I'm due for an upgrade. But back then, the phone I was using was a Nokia 3310. It wasn't a smartphone. Now I have a laptop. Here, I don't know if you see it. And that's what I edit my videos on. Back then, I didn't own, I own a laptop, but it was a bulky one from, I'm, I'm sure they made it in 2005. It wasn't that good, it wasn't that good. So it couldn't, I couldn't to write code, but I couldn't to record a video or edit a video. I didn't have a microphone. I didn't have a light, light. I didn't have any of them. But then I had just, <laughs> I just had, I, I, now I look back and it's funny because the undying belief and then the undying confidence with which I stood up and, you know, started chasing that dream of creating my YouTube channel. Mind you, I, I consume so much of YouTube, so um, I just know what good video is. But what I made was not even okay. It was bad. It was dangerous. It, it shouldn't, it's not, it's not fit to be on YouTube. You can go all the, scroll to my channel and go all the way down and you see that it's not fit to be on YouTube. Yes, still, so I was there because I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm bringing what I'm teaching to YouTube. Monetization was not even on my mind. All I wanted to do was just teach what I am doing, what I know. That was, that was it. So I go up to a friend. I tell him, can I use your laptop to record um, a video? He says, okay, okay, I restore my apps and then I start using this laptop to edit, to shoot and to edit my videos, my mediocre videos, and I put them out there. I didn't know anything about graphic design. I didn't know anything about video editing. I didn't know anything about YouTube as a creator. I didn't know anything. I just did this simple thing and took that biggest and the most important first step of getting started look, look if you want to wait till all the street the street lights this is street lights or traffic lights on every road in this world is green before you make a, a step you will not go anywhere 
the, the one that is green right now in where you're standing is green it's always green it's, it will forever be green take that first step and then as you go you 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 you'll be stopped because that will be red at the point but it gets green at the point too right so i made up very first bold step and then i kept putting out my content out um i i went home from school because i had written my exams and then i still i still kept putting out content and fast forward two years later i i was quitting i was quitting i was giving up on my endeavor and mind you the reason why i was quitting because i've been making youtube for two years and then i've not even reached 500 subscribers but the truth is, I've been making mediocre videos for two years and I don't deserve to reach 500 subscribers. That is the truth. But then I was losing my way because I put, now I put out videos and I, I just get 50 views at, at most. And then if I'm very, very grateful, I just get 100 views. So I was losing, I was losing faith because even back then with those mediocre videos, I could hit 200 views. So what's happening? But then the reason with which I started my YouTube channel had long been forgotten that I'm just here to share my experience and to teach what I'm learning as I am learning. You see the difference here? I've forgotten it because now I'm, I know what the algorithm, I know what the analytics are talking, are saying that I'm not getting enough views. People are not clicking on my, so instead of me looking at how to get better, I was frustrated and that was where I was quitting. So my mentor Caesar calls me and then we're having a chat and he's encouraging me not to stop and give, I shouldn't give up on YouTube because he, he knows and he sees that what I'm doing is going to be something big. Then I'm telling him, but, but see that. And he said, okay, so why do you start your YouTube channel? And then I told him and he said, you see, the reason why you started your YouTube channel is what, is what you are doing. You are teaching people as you are learning. And that for me, that he will describe as success. And the fact that I'm making 1K views or 2K views or 10K views, that, yes, is also success. But the main reason I began my channel was to teach as I learn. And if my channel has not actually achieved that right now, I'm stopping. But I can I can promise you that people have watched my videos and learned something. I see some comments that make me feel that, oh yes, that's that's true. That's true. I'm actually achieving that. And that is success.